visible in the sky this month is a comet which hasn't passed Earth in over 50,000 years. Today we will tell you everything you need to know about Comet C-2022 E3, then we will give you everything you need to know so that you can view it yourself. So stay tuned. Before we get into the video, we think you might be interested in checking out the latest, Lunar Phase Pro software. Lunar Phase Pro is a Moon Observer software toolkit designed to help you discover more about the Moon and make your lunar observing sessions more productive. If you love gazing into space as much as us then you will love this software. If you want to check it out or for more information, there will be a link to their website in the description below. You can thank us later. Now let's get back to Comet C-2022 E3. Here is some background of its discovery. Frank Massey and Bryce Bolin used this Vicky Transient Facility, ZTF, at the Palomar Observatory in California to find Comet C-2022 E3, ZTF, on March 2, 2022. The comet was about 399 million miles. 643 million kilometers, from the Sun at the time, just inside Jupiter's orbit. The comet has already made its closest approach to the Sun as of today, and on February 1st, it will make its closest approach to Earth. According to co-principal investigator Tom Prince of the Svicky Transient Facility, ZTF, and comet expert Michael Kelly of the University of Maryland, the comet was an exciting discovery even for astronomers who spend their careers looking for such objects. Prince stated, We were very excited to see that it was indeed a comet and that it was likely to be seen as a naked eye object as it came closer to the Earth after initially discovering the object. More than just the Sun and the planets, the solar system is a fascinating place. Astronomers were unsure of the comet's identity when it was first discovered. Prince stated we did not know whether the object was an asteroid or a comet when we first discovered it. The likelihood that it was a long-period comet increased and evidence of a tail began to be observed as its orbit became more clearly defined. Prince stated the discovery was made by looking for objects in motion in five images taken approximately three and a half minutes apart. The object moves slightly in relation to the stars in the background in each subsequent image. To locate moving objects in ZTF data, Frank Massey of Caltech used SEER software. While Bryce Bolin was at Caltech, he made use of the software and informed the Minor Planet Center about the moving object. In the end, the comet C-2022E3. ZTFS orbit made it possible for scientists to conclude that it was a comet. Prince stated, it was not known at the time it was reported, on March 2, 2022, that the object was a comet, all that was known was that it was a moving object in the solar system. Prince added that the Svicky Transient Facility's large field of view enables it to survey the entire visible sky every two nights making it well-suited for NASA-funded searches for comets and asteroids. After the object was reported to the Minor Planet Center, numerous other observatories made measurements, allowing the orbit of the object to be better defined and demonstrating that it was coming in from the outer solar system. Kelly added, the origins of C-2022E3, ZTF, can be deduced from its orbit. The orbit suggests that it comes from the Oort cloud, a distant reservoir of comets at the edge of our solar system. The Oort cloud is very large. Large enough to encompass all of the other planets, asteroids, and other objects in our solar system. It probably measures about one light year across. Even though the Svicky Transient Facility only finds a few comets a year, Kelly said it's always exciting to find a bright comet that can be seen with the naked eye. Cometary astronomers have a special talent for discovering bright comets like ZTF. 
Bright comets provide us with the best opportunities to learn about comet formation and evolution. The public's reaction to this rare comet and the amateur astronomer photographs it will produce, according to both researchers, will be exciting. Enjoy them and, if at all possible, try to see it through a telescope or binoculars, Kelly said. Even though it doesn't look as good as the pictures, seeing it in person is a special experience. Prince continued, comets like this are messengers from the farthest reaches of our solar system, taking tens of thousands of years to reach our vicinity. We hope that the general public will be as excited about this comet's visit to the inner solar system as we are. Do you want to see C-2022 E3? Next up is some more useful information on how you can see it yourself. Please bear in mind that if you live somewhere with high light pollution you may not be able to see it. Speeding towards Earth and not still at its closest point is Comet C-2022 E3. Although the comet has some time until it reaches its closest point to Earth it has still produced some amazing images that astronomers are happy with. Now get your pen and pad and get ready to write some information down. According to experts, the comet could be visible in the early morning hours of January 12th near the northern sky constellation Corona Borealis. As time goes on, it will move westward. You can tune into a live stream provided by the Virtual Telescope Project, which will begin on January 12th at 11 p.m. Eastern Time if viewing conditions aren't ideal in your area. The comet may be visible east of the Little Dipper's Bowl on January 26th and 27th. By the third week of January, experts anticipate that the comet will be visible to the naked eye. At a distance of 28 million miles, 45 million kilometers, from Earth on February 1st, the comet will be close to the constellation Camella Pardalis. A few days later, on February 5th and 6th, the comet will enter the constellation Auriga after passing to the west of the star Capella. Unfortunately, as previously stated, there is no assurance that the comet will be visible to you. The comet will be too faint to see with the naked eye if you live in an area with a lot of light pollution. The comet's light will appear to spread out over a larger area the closer it is to Earth, even in areas with less light pollution. Experts say that your eyes should be fine, so your best bet is to avoid using telescopes and binoculars and look for a location with clear, dark skies. Frank Massey and Bryce Bolin discovered Comet C-2022 E3 in March 2022. Using the Svicky Transient Facility at the Palomar Observatory in Southern California, astronomers discovered the comet. The comet was nearly 400 million miles, 643 million kilometers, from the Sun when it was found. It was in Jupiter's orbit. Well. That's it for today. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button. If you have any suggestions, leave them in the comment section. And if you enjoy our content, and never want to miss a video, hit the subscribe button. Thank you for watching.